Bolton. It's well documented what's happened with them over the, lots of problems. And you, you said as well, it was a bit sort of, they had problems as well. You signed up there. What When you were joining, what was your, obviously it was four years ago, what, what was your sort of thinking of, obviously big up, big step up, what was your sort of thinking of what you wanted to do with them? Um, well, like I said, it come from nowhere. I, I come from Sunday League level and Evo stick level at that time. Um, and just got asked to come in for a trial. Uh, do you want to see what I'm about? And anything what was going on behind the scenes at Bolton um, didn't have an effect on what I was, what my goal was. You know, I was thinking I've just got to get a professional contract here. Um, mm. So regardless whether there was transfer embargoes, people weren't getting paid, point deductions, anything. I was more just focused on myself because I knew um, this point could sort of be a turning point in, in my career. Um, so yeah, I went in with a clear mind and. Um, it was a really enjoyed my time at Bolton. We had we had a great under twenty three squad and a, a great manage, manager and assistant. Um, so yeah, I, I was I'm grateful for sort of what they done for me. Mm. I guess also maybe this is obviously no one wants to see what happened at Bolton to happen to any club, but it's a sort of a part of you where it's like if they're not gonna be able to bring in the top quality players or if there's gonna be some kind of well the team's not is it's sort of a if almost sort of a or sort of, in terms of, terms of moving to the first team, and sort of maybe obviously didn't happen, obviously, but that you might be thinking, well, if you do need me, if you can't sign any you know, sort of professionals who've been there and done it, that I might then get a chance and move on. Is that what you're sort of thinking? Yeah, well, um, I'll be honest with you, and probably not, not a lot of people know this, um, and it's probably good to say it in the interview. When Bolton were actually in League One, um, the year they got the promotion, um, I always remember I was travelling into training, and I got a phone call off the club secretary, um, and he actually said to me, he wants to, the gaffer wants to put me in the squad for the game tomorrow against Bradford, it was. Um, we're just waiting on clarification from the FA because of our transfer embargo. So mm. I trained that day with the first team, and Friday night I got a phone call saying that the FA have declined me from being a first team player because of the embargo. Um, so I always knew I was... I was like that Bolton, I had a chance, um, but it was just the, the case of the squad, I think it was allowed a 25-man squad and he wanted to make it 26 for me, uh, and the FA being the FA, him yeah. declare me. Yeah. It, that would have been, what would that have been, just having to think now, season goal, that would have been 16, 17, would have been correct, with my knowledge of Yeah, 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 Bradford, would have been, wouldn't it, yeah. Bradford, they were quite good then, I think, if I remember, they were up near the playoffs, that would have been a, whether or not you would have, been, would have been involved in terms of actually playing, being involved in some kind of way, even just hanging around in the in the squad yeah. or whatever for that big game would have been, I imagine, quite good for you. Yeah, it would have just been an eye opener. You know, I, like I said, I played around a lot of changing rooms, but not at the level of Bolton. You know, Bolton are a massive club, um, and Bradford, it was Bradford the way fun. You know, for they get a lot of fans, it would have just been a good a good experience to see what the what it's like to be in an away game in front of a lot of fans, how things work. Um, and like I said, it was not meant to be because the FA declared me, but uh, that that was a period where mm. I, I, I knew I was starting to get a chance. You get a chance, um, correct, in the League Cup against West Ham at what we call London Stadium now, isn't it? That's what it's called. Yeah. What was, I don't think, was it Sub you came on, was it? Or was your, no, did you uh, play? So um, I was I travelled up with the squad to to London and then the morning of the game we trained um, and the assistant manager pulled me and said you you're gonna start you're gonna be on set pieces blah 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 um, so obviously I was a bit shocked I didn't I couldn't believe it um, and the game I think I played all 80, 80 minutes. Um, which was obviously an unbelievable experience, something I'll never ever forget. Um, there was like thirty-five thousand fans there. There was top players on the pitch: uh, Mark Noble, you know, uh, Hernandez, a lot of a lot of good name players. Um, and then the following week, I actually made my debut in the league against Bristol City away. So to go from no disrespect, non-league ground sort of little ones round near me that were quite small to a massive stadium like that one. Big step up. Um, no, it was, 
you know, it, it, it's probably, it sounds silly, but it's probably harder playing at the non-league grounds because you hear everything. Mm. <laughs> so any any abuse you get shouts at your ear at all when you, mm. uh, what I noticed when I played at the bigger stadiums and a lot more people are there, you don't really hear as much because um, it's so busy and people are probably talking and chanting, mm. whatever it may be. Um, you don't actually hear as much. Don't get me wrong. Um, the noise is a lot different as an as a whole, uh, but you don't really hear any individual shouts aimed at, at yourself or anything. Yeah, I, I guess from my experience of just sort of going to games and stuff like that is when you're it's a bit more full. You can I, I can get that, and also it, it sounds actually a lot like what other behind closed door games are. Even even when there's only a thousand people there at something like a Oldham Stadium or something like that, it does sort of sound like a bit of a. Almost, almost like sort of a training game or you know something like that where you, you've got the stands that sounds bouncing off the stands so it does sound like you can hear every tackle and stuff like that I get, so I, I sort of get that especially if it, well, like I said it was 30 fouls so it wouldn't have been full as well yeah it was like well I, I can't remember what the Olympic Stadium actually owns uh, holds sorry it might be around 50 60,000 but um, there was a lot of people there anyway so it was very very loud and all that I remember it like it was yesterday <laughs> Did you any so you said you said play some pretty big names there? What's what's that? I guess what's that like sort of pitting yourself against them sort sort of names? Obviously, ones you you won't be playing against, obviously in the league or anything like that. But what's it like pitting yourself against those types of guys? It's just it's it's nice to get to be up against them players, you know, to see what level you're at in comparison. Um, but you know, I I was actually up at my man who I was up against for the whole game was Mark Noble. Um, and he's one of them players where he doesn't get the credit he deserves, probably on the mm. telly. Or, um, but when when you play against these type of players, you see the level you know that they're at. Um, he's pl- and he's played a lot of Premier League games, West Ham captain for years. Um, so it, it is good to see where you are in comparison to them. But um, you can you can see, and you also feel the level and sharpness that they're at. You know when you're up against them. Mm. I get Matt Noble, he's still, and he's, I don't think he's ever been called up for England, has he? I think he's been snubbed quite a few times. It was quite a call. Yeah. Was gonna, so that's one of them. So he did that. Like I said, you played a, played a few games here, here and there, but never really. You said, you said you played in the league against was it Bristol City. You then yeah. went on to after that. And I think he said another game. So experience, like I said, at a higher level, but obviously not what you would have wanted. You would have liked to have you know, sort of, I imagine, even something like, we see sometimes where the players, they get maybe a 10-game run or something like that, and even if they don't get back to that level, they learn so much from, from that. Yeah. 